rotate your phone. I don't want to rotate your phone. Hey folks, uh, welcome to our craft corner. Uh, this is our uh, COVID edition uh, of our craft corner. Um, so obviously, uh, oh, don't go take away. So obviously, uh, Kelly is uh, not here with uh, with us today. Uh, so I got two new helpers with me today. Let's say hi, guys. Hi. Okay. So my kiddos are going to help me, and we're going to do uh, a snowman craft. Uh, so basically, uh, the way this works, you're not going to need a big lot of supplies. Uh, we did use a lot of things that we had around the house. Uh, you're going to need construction paper. Uh, we're going to be using either um, cotton balls. Kids are going to use tissue paper. We already pre-cut it into small strips. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll certainly see how that goes. Um, other than that, you will need some glue um, and uh, some creativity. Okay, so away we go. So what we're going to do is I started out, I drew out my snowman on my construction paper first. And all we're going to do is we're going to start by taking our glue and we're going to start with the bottom circle. Just make sure you coat that bottom circle all in glue. So the kids are going to take the tissue paper and crumple it all up. I'm just going to take my cotton balls and stick around on mine. So through the uh, the wonders of technology, we uh, we actually did this yesterday. I'm just going to check that just to see. Uh, okay, I want to make sure we're still doing this. And we're going live, and all is working well. Uh, yeah, so we thought we were going to be proactive and, and do a version of this yesterday, um, but unfortunately. Um, so the wonders of technology, the video wouldn't let us upload, so here we are. So you just want to make sure you're getting all of your... Uh, oh, I glue all over my fingers. Me too. Getting all of your snowman covered with your cotton balls. That's right, good. Ooh, that one's really sticky on the fingers. Just give it a good coat. Make sure you get all of those... Snowman covered. Daddy, I'm not going to have enough pieces. Okay. Well, you want to use a couple of cotton balls and then just don't crumple up your paper as much. Why? So that you got enough paper to make it do it all the way. Just crumple your paper bigger. Don't crumple it so tightly. Like this? Yeah. Okay, so like I said, you just want to make sure. And if you do run out of supplies, you can always use whatever you got around the house. If you run out of um, the uh, the tissue paper, you can use tissues. I wouldn't recommend using toilet paper. <laughs> How silly. You want to put this one on top? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Daddy. So no, once you get all of your stuff glued into place, I'm just going to use the one that I used that? from yesterday. Okay. That doesn't use work so good. Okay, that's good. Okay. So we're learning about sharing and all this stuff as well. So we are just going to use um, black construction paper for the hats. It's a hat for Lily. I glue it on now? Yep, go ahead and glue it on. So you want to get a parent to help you with uh, the cutting if you need to help. And I guess you're going to glue yours on. Now, my kids, we had a big craft box here at the house uh, full of different kinds of craft supplies and stuff, um, which we uh, we used some of that stuff. Uh, you don't have to use that. You can basically, like I said, you can use kind of whatever you got kicking around your house. So we got our snowman. We got our bodies. We got our hats. That's fine, yeah. Uh, what do we need next? Um, Arms? Yeah. Okay. So for the arms, what we're using is we've got pipe cleaners here at the house. Again, came out of that, uh, that box. Yes, I know. So I'm just going to cut the pipe cleaners in half and in half again. So we're cutting them in quarters. And getting our math in. Okay, so the kids are going to take those and they're going to stick theirs in. Can I use this glue? Sure, yeah. Stick these in, buddy. So can I, like, um, actually put them in a bit? Yeah. And you can sort of fit those into the sides as well. I'll show you mine there now in a minute. 
So what I did for mine is I found uh, the kids had these cool little, um, I don't know if you can really see that, they're like little blue snowflakes. So that's what I used for my buttons. And I used an orange piece of an orange pipe cleaner um, for my nose. You guys are going to get yellow for your noses, okay? Okay. Long enough? Yeah. Okay, take it. Good. Got your arms in, buddy? Okay. And you want to be careful when you're picking these up that all your materials don't slide off and fall onto the floor no. as well. Not staying. Not staying on. Give it a good. All right. Mine is. Have enough glue. I'm going to roll out our glue. Very long. That's a long nose. Okay, and just stick it in place. Daddy. Here's your nose. Too long. Maybe I should also have some more glue on this. Yep. Can I put some buttons on? Yep. So I'm like I said, I'm using the uh, snowflakes. The kids are using uh, the little uh, beads. beads that they had for theirs. Came with one of the kits that they had. Okay. And like I said, if you if you want to use hot glue, you can certainly use hot glue. Now, what colors you want for your scarf? You want two color scarf like you did yesterday? Yeah. yeah. I want yellow and purple. Yellow Please. and purple. Hmm. Huh? I need to use it first. Okay, yeah. so the kids are going to use two colors for their scarves. You want yellow and purple too? No, I okay. want. I got purple, Say. green, and yellow. Um, no orange? No orange, buddy. We used um, the orange yesterday. I think I'll have green and yellow. Green and yellow, okay. Now, usually when I'm doing this one, okay. I just put the two colors together. Watch your fingers. So that they're going to be even. And Lily. Yes, Lily's. Okay, can you pass Brad the glue to now? Wait. So, folks, the big thing with this is just have fun with it. Uh, like I said, you can okay. certainly use what you got kicking around your house. My hands um, are sticky. All of this, yes, that's what happens when you use glue. All of this stuff is just stuff that we used, um, that we had at our house. Um, I didn't put any eyes on mine, but you certainly can um, if you wanted to take small pieces of uh, black construction paper. Cut out a couple of small eyes and I'll glue them in. I'll show you what mine looks like as the kids are working away on theirs. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna put some green. Twist it together. So the kids are just adding scarves onto it. And again, you can use whatever you want. Um, you know, I did see uh, get... online that um, some folks used tree branches for the arms and stuff. Yeah, just a sec now. Okay, folks. So here's my snowman. Can I show mine? All done. There you have it. Can now I you want to be careful holding yours up, just in case it's not glued together from uh, today. You want to show it to the camera? Oh, wait, this on your side. This is yours from yesterday. Yeah, this is mine. You want to show yours too. from yesterday? So, like I said, we did do these yesterday, um, and we did them yesterday. Oh, we're missing an arm on August, and um, here's the one that August made from yesterday. Can right. I show them the one I made today? You want to let the glue set up on it first though? Oh, okay. And we'll post a picture of it later on. Daddy. Okay folks, um, enjoy, have fun with it. The kids are going to finish theirs off there now. Um, so by all means, you can certainly post a picture. Um, I believe Kelly is, uh, is coming up shortly with uh, a different version of a uh, homemade snowman. Alright, enjoy. We'll see you next time. Bye.